coming down onto the course now for this first race, 13 of them. And away they go. So on the way to the first of 18 fences, one of the first to show is captive audience on the inside. Together with perfectly willing the favourite as they take that one. All over that first fence safely. So quickly on to fence number two, perfectly willing and Mark Wall with captive audience on the inside. Then racing in third place is Natural Action, Mr. Splodge. They're followed then by the big boyo. Looking to the back of the field, J.O. being held up at the back of the field at the moment as they come to this next plane fence just after the winning post. Captive audience and perfectly willing from Mr. Splodge and we've lost one there unseated at that third fence past the class so Catherine Begley up on her feet quickly which is good to see as the field now head to the roadside fence which is fence number four captive audience perfectly willing Mr. Splodge in that pink jacket who ran in this race last year and then the orange jacket racing in fourth on the inside is the big boyo with the young Charlie Hammond on the outside of that one is Natural Action, Sean Bowen, a couple of promising lads those two, then up their races on the outside of As It Is, Ciro Demur, then the two greys race together and we've lost the big boyo with that one. So the big boyo is out of it at that first open ditch, Charlie Hammond up on his feet okay and on their way now to this next plane fence. So up front, captive audience, perfectly willing, and Mr. Splodge, uh, followed by natural action as it is up there, Ciro Demur, then Silver Token, last year's winner, Charlotte Pritchard on that one this year, just ahead of the other grey, Silver Phoenix, after Silver Phoenix then comes Bravery Scotch, and still J.O. held up at the back by Robert Hawker. So Mr. Splodge now goes on with Chris Dawson, jumped it really well, perfectly willing, not so good at that one. Back in second place, the natural action, as it is races up on the inside. As they bunch up a little bit now, as they race uphill towards this Lambs Hill fence. And as they race up to it, there's little to choose between Mr. Splodge on the outside of perfectly willing. Captive audience has lost a place or two as uh, natural action has gone into third place. So Mr. Splodge, perfectly willing on the inside, natural action. So racing downhill now past their starting point and on to what was their first fence. As they come down to it. The pink jacket of Mr. Splodge just about leading from Perfectly Willing on the inside. Captive Audience has gone back up there as well. That one's in third place. Then Natural Action as it is. Silver Token last year's winner making a bit of headway. On the outside, on the inside, Ciro Demur. Up there is also racing in about fourth place. This will be the last next time. Mr. Splodge from Perfectly Willing. Natural Action. The green sleeves on the outside up there and the yellow and blue goes up prominent now. Those are the first four then as it is. They're followed on the outside by Ciro de Burr. Captive audience beginning to lose a place or two again now. As it is, it was a bit messy at that one and the Silver Phoenix was slow and that one has dropped back to last at the main group. They're well ahead of Bravery Scott who looks as if he might just pull up. So roadside fence for the final time. Mr. Splodge takes it from Perfectly Willing. Mr. Splodge slightly better jump there than Perfectly Willing. Up there races in third, then Natural Action. Ciro Demur comes next. Then as it is, Silver Token. J.O.'s made a place or two. And a very long ride from Robert Walker. Silver Phoenix is on the outside and Captive Audience drops back to be last on that main group. That's the final open ditch they've taken. Mr. Splodge from up there. Willing, natural Action and Ciro Demur, those are the first five. Then Silver Token makes ground on the outside of As It Is, who's been pushed along now. J.O.'s every chance latching onto that leading group and they're beginning to draw clear of Silver Phoenix and Captive Audience and they're well clear of Bravery Scotch. That's the next plane fence. And Mr. Splot, 
Chris Dawson comes to it, joined there by Ciro Demur. And Ciro Demur's gone on by about half a length, but on the flat, once again, Mr. Splodge goes up to join him. We did lose one at that fence. It might well have been J.O. It was J.O. who went to that one. So they're racing out of the back straight now with just three fences to jump. And up front, Mr. Splodge, Silver Tokens, come through slowly on the outside to take it up with Ciro Demur. Mr. Splodge can't get much more in third place, perfectly willing. And also up there, finding the pace a bit hot. Mr. Splodge has stopped quite quickly now, and he's probably going to pull up coming up that hill. But up front, it's the grey Silver Token. And Charlotte Richard, Silver Token, winner of this race last year in the David Race Colours. From Ciro de Moore and Alex Edwards in second place, back in third as it is running on with up there, but Silver Token, who obviously relishes these conditions, remember it was pretty soggy here last year, and Silver Token with a four to five length lead from Ciro de Moore comes to take this one as a bit of a look, gives Ciro de Moore a bit of a chance, there's only three lengths in it, but Silver Token finds more on the flat and races now towards his final fence. Silver Token and Charlotte Pritchard with a six length lead from Ciro de Moore as it is and up there. Up this final find, Silver Token up and over. It's another winner for Wales in the David Brace colours from Ciro de Moore in second place. As it is, is in third with James Martin and up there in fourth. And those are the only finishers.